the battle 2023 this is event number two remember all these athletes had event number one earlier on so coming into this event they're gonna have tired tired legs we got to catch up with a few of these athletes uh, in the warm-up area as you can see there on your screens at the moment but uh, a lot of them weren't looking too uh, excited for this event and then the judges just getting their briefing making sure they know the exact movement standards and off we go here it is the foundational division here at the battle powered by puma and this event is presented by npl a lot of these athletes said to me beforehand that their legs were feeling a little fatigued but uh coming into this these athletes are going to try to save those legs for the later rounds. Remember, they have six snatches on uh, different platforms where the weights will go up and then they'll move on to six squat cleans where the weight also goes up from uh, platform one and seven, two and eight is equal to one point and then platform three and nine is three points, platform four and 10 is three points, platform five, 11 and platform six and 12 are five points each so these athletes are looking to get the highest total on uh, that so each rep will be equal to five on 60 kgs here for these athletes and great lifting here onto the snatches here beautifully lifted there making sure that he saves his legs for later on it does get quite uh, hairy as you see these athletes move through this ladder and those weights increasing in each section. There'll be 12 sections that they'll be going through. Uh, you'll start with your snatches and then move into those squat cleans as you see on your screen here right now. And uh, beautiful touch and goes, yeah, you are allowed to do a power clean and then go into a squat. But my suggestion would be that you grab that uh, in, into a squat snatch instead of the power and then into your squats. Just save a little bit of energy there. And uh, Pretty much doing a power snatch here at the moment weight very very light for this athlete here making it look fairly easy and as you can see that beautiful scenery there as we are here at monte casino huge thank you of course to monte casino for allowing us to come out here and uh have you guys showcase your fitness at the battle 2023 powered by puma Just getting that up you can see they're starting to get a little bit tired as they move up and at 60 kgs for a foundational athlete it's very very heavy for them most of these athletes have just started their crossfit journey of course this event a licensed crossfit event that's the battle Got the sunnies out there making sure that uh, the sun don't get in his eyes for this one knees caving in a little bit there 70 kgs you want to try to keep those knees pushing outwards you don't want those knees caving in on you it's going to make life very difficult coming up also it just helps when you push your knees out a little bit it helps activate those glutes and uh, get that weight up a little bit easier see a very very narrow stance here a couple of weeks ago, Josh and I were talking about the best techniques. That's Josh Kernot, fifth fittest man in Africa, talking about which stance works best. And it's definitely a wider stance, uh, as most of the athletes that we were chatting to agreed that that wider stance does help in terms of uh, making sure that you don't get no rep and that you can pass that 90, as well as getting a nice, uh, decent, wide uh, base for yourself when you get those weights up. We look here, remember each athlete will have 40 seconds that they will uh, have to, to get through this. So 40 seconds per team. One man uh, can stay on this lift by himself or he can change it out with his teammates. And as you can see there, there's a perfect example there. Changes out, felt like it was maybe just a little bit too heavy for him. And also you gotta watch out a lot of the athletes, what they were doing in the earlier um, heats here or the earlier phase of the this video a lot of them were bringing their hands in too narrow on those snatches and a lot of them were getting called no reps because it was essentially a uh, a clean that they were doing a clean and jerk instead of a snatch so for those ladies that are going to be doing uh, this event tomorrow night 
we do suggest making sure that you have a nice wide grip. Don't get called on that no rep. And uh, yeah, easy, easy, easy power snatches, not even going into that squat. I think that's a good thing, like I mentioned before, you wanna try, save your legs, because those squat cleans become quite hectic. Little wave to the camera there, saying hello to us. Cameraman getting that camera right in his face. And great technique there once again. As you can see, the sun setting there as the foundational athletes are almost done with their workouts. Remember they had event one earlier on, that was uh, the functional fitness test, quite a brutal one on the legs as well. So these legs aren't that fresh as they step up to the plate here. And beautifully done there once again. Seventy kgs on that squat clean, and uh, and we're gonna call it a wrap there for the foundational athletes. <laughs>